So just another quick video. And yet again, it's about stems effects in Virtual DJ 2023. Because I got a couple of questions asking about uh, if more stuff was possible. And I tried to answer that. And I thought, well, maybe some of these answers will benefit other people. So here are like three more things you can do or three more little options or things you might haven't thought of. So, uh, so let's just go into those. But before we do that, let me just do a quick recap about what this stems effects is because we've had effects on stems for a long time. We had it ever since the beginning, basically. Uh, and that was by using the regular effect slots up here and adding stuff to whatever stem was selected on the regular stems pad page. So this one. So we picked one and say, well, I wanted on that or that or that. Uh, but like you probably see already here, you couldn't put some effects on something and other effects on something else. So that all changed uh, recently and was used in this pad page, the stems plus effects. So now we can have, for instance, reverb uh, on the vocals and uh, beat grid on everything else, the instrumentals. So like this, basically. Vocal reverb. And it's meant to beat grid. Like that. Um, and of course, we then saw that nothing triggered up here. So we can control it using these because they're in their own effect slots to be able to do this. So uh, uh, we also figured out that you actually had to, to go into the actual pad page uh, editor to adjust this stuff. So if we wanted to adjust something on, for instance, the vocals uh, reverb that we just saw, we needed to change this number. And the same with the echo out where this is the strength and this is the beat length and stuff. And you can see the little uh, the little slot here, the little effect slot uh, that's needed for that. But that also meant that we couldn't do much on the beat grid uh, because it has more complex options, if you will, more complex settings. So for that, eventually, um, Atomics added something to the menu, this, so we could get the, uh, the beat grid pop-up for just the instrumentals. So if I select that now and move it over so we can see it, it's here. So now we get we get another one. So that's fine. And now for the three little details that you might want to know. The first question I got it was, well, this doesn't affect the video. Why not? Well, that's just simply because it isn't enabled. So what you can do is just click the video here. And now we have it on the video as well. So with that, it also affects the video. The next thing was, well, I actually just want to do this once because it's kind of an effect, but it, it just keeps running. Well, that's actually just also just as a little click here because you can do it and turn it into single mode like this. And now we'll just trigger once and then be turned off. So let me just start by turning it off and play. And it turns itself And of course, it's the same uh, with another grid, like for instance, this one. So that was the second thing that you can now affect the video and you can just tell it to just do it once. And then the third uh, question I got was, well, it's pretty cool with the instruments, but maybe I want to do it on the drums instead. Uh, and you can do that. You simply just change everything to, to use the, uh, the, the, the drums, um, the drums uh, slot, if you will, for the effects, and it'll just do the drums. So again, back to the pad page editor. So that's not that, but here. Yeah. And then uh, I didn't want to, let me just move that a little bit. I didn't want to uh, ruin the, the one I have, like one on the, uh, the in uh, instrumentals, so everything except the vocals, so the middle rhythm. So I just added a new one on the shift key here with, on just the rhythm. So if I press shift, I get that instead. 
And then I also, like you probably saw already, added it to the menu so I can get into the, uh, the, the actual bit grid, grid options or settings, this one, but just for only the the written one, uh, that effect slot. So uh, if I start by doing that over here, you can see I go into this one instead, grab the pop-up, move it up here so we can see it. So that's actually now for the drums instead of the instruments. So now if I hold shift down, you can see I have it here, then I get it on just the drums and not the rest of the music. Let me just adjust this script to maybe something a little different like this one. So this way we can tell them apart. So I do the, the regular one first, like this. And she turned off like we expected and stuff because we said it's a single. Now this is actually on continuous and not on video. So that should not affect the video, but only affect the drums, but continues to run like this. So I'll just shift down after I play. So now it's just affecting the drums. And of course, I can go up here and say, I also want that to just be a, uh, a single shot and I want it to also affect the video like this. So one more try. Shift down. Again. And it turns itself off again and it affected the video too. So that's the third little thing, uh, like adding stuff so you can do it on just the drums, like you can do it on the all of the instruments so the effects on just the drums so that's basically the three little things and uh, i'll add the two small scripts for uh, for for the uh, the shift function for this button and for the added menu here just uh, into the video description so you can throw it in here on the pad page if you want that option yourself